Welcome to another I ain't got shit to do session, but watch movie. This time it's Shawshank Redemption. I'd like to thank Kentucky Fried Chicken for sponsoring this video. This is one of those movies you can watch over and over and over again. Shit, I even watch it on a basic cable where they censor it and shit. Is that entertaining? Stephen King, man. That dude could write about anything, any subject, and make it good as hell. People say that alcohol doesn't change people. Shit, if it doesn't. I've seen, I know people who just turn into completely different people when they're drunk as fuck. They'll say and do things they would never do normally sober. You gotta say, I don't recall. Never say I don't remember in court. She packed a bag. She packed a bag to go so I've stay. read. And that also is very convenient, isn't it, Mr. Dufresne? Since I am innocent of this crime, sir, I find it decidedly inconvenient that the gun was never found. Uh -huh. uh, see, that's what I mean by good ass writing right there. I have Stephen King for you. Or whoever did the screenplay. There you go, Frank Darabont. That's the screenplay writer. By the power vested in me by the state of Maine, I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. Ooh, shit. One for each of your victims. So be it. Two life sentences. I pretty that made Oh shit, the director it was the screenplay writer. Oh fuck, I didn't know that. I never paid attention to that. Yeah, so two life sentences, that must mean you know in some way or some kind of way, they want you to serve that other life sentence in your next life, if there is a next life. Oh I love this part. Absolutely. I love all these parts when you try to get parole. I wonder if that's a real prison. It looks like one. If that was right now, they'd be betting ramen soup. The most ultra-religious people could be the worst sometimes. I read they used to really do this shit, man. Especially to immigrants. Used to throw that powder on them for lice, I think. Big ass prison, even back then. People talk all that shit about private prisons and all that. The prisons got too big, man, too expensive. So the private uh, company had to come in to alleviate the, uh, the cost. So it ain't the other way around, man. It ain't the prison that were built, the private ones, and then they went out looking for fucking criminals. That's stupid as fuck to think that. Then what if he was really innocent? Just like Andy Dufresne. They're like he didn't do whatever the fuck they convicted him of. This is what a lot of people don't understand. In prison, you volunteer to work outside of the prison. That includes uh, putting out fires. They don't force you. They call it they call it slave labor. Nah, man. They don't force you to do it. You don't have to. But if you do it, I think you get uh, less time. Or before you get to that place where they where you're uh, where you work as a fireman, it's like a privilege. I think you get if you go to a fire camp or whatever the hell they call it, you'll fight fires. But I think you'll get out sooner or some shit like that. Why the fuck did he start oh, the funny. sentence like that? You're gonna look funny or suck in my dick with no teeth. Why should I believe a smart banker like you? So I can end up in here with you and it's perfectly legal to go ask the You just said he's a thing. smart banker. Actually, I feel stupid telling you this. Where's he going? Fucking with his accountant, man. I don't know, man. I know a lot of guys who've been to prison, done, done a, lot, a lot of time and shit. They try to stay away from anything sex related at all costs. 
You don't want to put that shit in your head when you're doing years in prison. But maybe back then it was different. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. There's the dream. Yep, that's the power of music, man. Right there, he don't give a fuck. No, the, the last one's what he don't give a fuck. Yeah, shit like that still goes on. He got mad because he used the word he didn't know. Oh, shit. Now this, when you first watch the movie, you're like, what the fuck? Never saw that one coming. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that uh, that tunnel was done a long time ago. He was just waiting for the right time. Couldn't have taken that long to, to make that tunnel. That is a perfect circle. He took his time with that tunnel. How the fuck did he fit in there? His head barely fits in there. So I guess he broke it more. Yards. To get out of prison? That's Shit. Like Anybody will crawl through shit. He said the next morning. How the hell did he get so far? They should have showed him crying, man. I wasn't there to see it, but I hear Byron Hadley started sobbing like a little girl when they took him away. Should have showed it. Can you imagine a warden going to, well, a fucked up warden going to prison? God damn. When somebody shoots themselves in the head, they don't die instantly, man. I've seen those crazy ass videos like uh, Faces of Death. They move around for a while and make these jerky ass motions and shit. It's fucking fucked up. I've been to um, Only County Jail and I've seen a dude commit suicide by jumping off uh, one tier. And he was just struggling and just jerking for a for a good while. And he landed straight on his head on concrete, like a, like a white floor. Of, I don't know if it's concrete underneath there or whatever, but it's just really solid. His jaw was all twitching and shit. Crazy. Woo! Ain't nothing like that feeling right there, man. And the most I ever served was nine months in county jail. So I can imagine how someone like him must feel. Yeah, penmanship, man. Stupid ass uh, Seth MacFarlane tried to make fun of that town in Mexico. Because it's not a... It's a village, man. It's like a small little town. And I guess he thought it was going to be a, like a tourist spot, like all nice and shit. But that's the whole point. He wanted to go there because there's no tourists and hardly any people around. It's uh, secluded, but that stupid fucking idiot didn't, he didn't get that. Damn, in the back of the damn bus. That's before uh, civil rights. Ah, the beach. Whoever hasn't been to a beach, I feel sorry for him, man. Missed the hell out of it. I'm out here in this hot ass desert. I wonder who that guy is, Alan Green. I usually be uh, talking shit and roasting the hell out of these movies, but with this one, there's not much to roast about. It's just a good ass fucking drama movie. But yeah, of course, from one to 10, this gets a 12, man. It's perfect. 
So, as always, stay safe, stay healthy out there, y'all.